losing all of your data. Not exactly a life lesson that you want to learn the hard way. Hey folks, today I'm going to be showing you in this video tutorial how to confirm that your data is in fact being backed up to iCloud. And if you discover that you have any kind of syncing errors, I'm also today going to be going over the main reasons why that takes place. Coming up next on Tech Talk America. All right, the first thing I want to do in today's class is I want to confirm for all of you that your data is in fact in iCloud. Now, the easiest way to do this is on a computer, pick whatever web browser you want and go to iCloud.com. You'll be prompted to sign in with your Apple ID, username and password. And when you're done, you'll see this screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to walk you through a few of these different apps and show you how to confirm that the data matches and again, also what to do if it does not match. So let's start with going into the Contacts app. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way to the very bottom of the list. And if you have other devices like an iPhone or an iPad, whatever it may be, go into those contact apps as well and do the same thing. Scroll to the very bottom and you'll see the total listed there. Now, if the numbers all match, congratulations, it means you're good to go. Usually if it's only off by a couple, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if you find that it's more than a reasonable number, let's go over why that happens. So these days we have a lot of different types of accounts. For example, you might have some sort of like a, a Gmail address that you use or have had on the side. Maybe you don't really use it anymore. But the fact that your phone or your computer or whatever it may be still has access to that means that it still has the ability to sync things more than just email, including contacts calendars, notes, and reminders, depending on what service it is you use. So a lot of times when you discover that these numbers have a discrepancy, that is the main reason. You may be on your phone adding a contact thinking that you're putting it into iCloud, but in fact, you're actually saving it into another account. Okay, so let's say for example, that your extra account is a Gmail account. What you would do at this point is you would have to go again on a computer, sign in to gmail.com, switch over to the contacts app, and then essentially export all. Now, depending on what kind of service you're using, sometimes there are different formats that you can export all of your contacts from that old service so that you can now have them available to you on your Mac. So uh, the two formats that I would recommend, uh, vCard is the easiest, typically the cleanest. The other is CSV. So once you've exported these files, depending on what format it is, you're either going to just double click on that file if it's a V card, or uh, I believe you can go file import through the contacts app and bring it in that way. Now you are probably gonna find that you have some duplicates. So if you want, when you're done, check this out. Go to the very top uh, here in the uh, top menu bar, go under cards and check it out right here. Look for duplicates. So that's a good way to try to, you know, cancel out some of those. You may have some duplicates uh, just because you either have it spelled wrong or whatever reason. So those kind of ones, those you can just clean up on your own. So now when you're done with this, you would basically start to go through the other aspects of iCloud like calendar and reminders and do the same thing. Make sure that the data is consistent. And if there is any problem, you would just have to export it out of the old service and import it into iCloud so that it can read it. So that way all of your stuff is in one singular location. Now, the next thing we need to talk about, of course, are photos, photos being probably the biggest thing that people care about syncing correctly. So if you discover that there's a discrepancy in your photos, here's just the easiest way to resolve it. Just leave your computer on overnight and leave that photos app open. Also, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of your other devices are plugged in, that they're connected to Wi-Fi, and that way they'll naturally upload to iCloud. One last thing on the topic of photos. Uh, if you are one of those people out there who has trouble with organizing your photos, which is frankly probably most people, uh, I have a couple of really great classes that can show you in relatively little time a few really easy tricks to help organize them. So if you wanna check those classes out, links to both of them down below. Let's also take a moment to talk about your document situation. So there are a couple of different ways, of course, that you can store your documents, right? You can store them in iCloud Drive. If you decide that you want to do this, what it requires you to do on your Mac is to go into the Apple icon at the top left corner, go into System Preferences. Then from there, we're going to go down to iCloud, 
iCloud Drive and just make sure that this little feature here, desktop and documents is turned on. Finally, I wanted to say that while I think it's great that we have these cloud services like iCloud and Dropbox to make it a lot easier to back up your data, I don't think that that replaces the need to have still a local backup. So if you need a recommendation for what kind of hard drive to back up your Mac, what I just want to say about this topic is that in my opinion, I don't think that all external hard drives are made equally. A lot of them use different power components and some of them are made very cheaply and have a tendency to blow. So uh, what I've done is I put all on one website, all of those little products that I recommend. If you go over to my website, you'll find there's a page called product recommendations. You'll find everything there. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please hit that little thumbs up like button. Leave me a comment down below. Class dismissed.